evening. Face masks are no longer compulsory on public transport and in indoor spaces in Scotland. However, the Scottish Government has urged people to keep wearing them as the virus continues to spread. Our reporter Polly Bartlett's been gauging reaction across the country as the final COVID restrictions are lifted. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Cheers in a pub in Edinburgh as Scotland's remaining COVID restrictions are lifted and customers could order their bank holiday pint without a mask. It should have stopped ages ago because I don't see the point of wearing them. Yeah, I think it's just reached a point now but we have to move on. I'm very happy to get rid of the masks to be honest. It feels very free, something freely about it so it's, it's nice. For those getting a caffeine kick in Aberdeen, the removal of face coverings was a welcome relief. Great. I mean, it's just, when you're wearing them every day, it's tiring. It's, you just feel so much freer. It's great. We also had booths built here. We just took them down. I'd say 95% of the customers are happy. A few of them are, you know, they were, felt quite nice in the booths and safe. The law requiring the use of masks has also been removed on public transport, although some commuters are still taking precaution. I think it's just because of our professions, we're just wearing it just to protect, I guess, the, the people we work with. I'd say there's about 50-50, um, and dare I say it's generally the older generation that mm -hmm. is wearing them. I'm wearing it to keep myself safe and I just don't want to get other people sick. I'm coming home to a grandma. The last two years have been horrific absolutely horrendous for kids, for families and now there's a massive sense of normality coming back for everybody it's just, yeah, it's ideal This latest easing of restrictions comes at a time when Covid cases are still relatively high The latest estimates show that 1 in 13 people tested positive for the virus in the last month The big game changer has been vaccinations, so we have a really highly vaccinated population plus of course more and more antivirals becoming uh, available. And if we had these kind of case numbers pre-vaccination days, we would probably be in a full lockdown. Today also marked the end of regular testing for people without COVID symptoms and the end of testing in schools, workplaces and universities. The use of face coverings is still recommended and the Scottish Government is urging caution as the journey out of the pandemic continues. Polly Bartlett, STV News. Police have spoken to Nicola Sturgeon after she was filmed apparently breaching COVID face mask law. Footage on social media showed the First Minister not wearing a mask inside an East Kilbride barber shop. Police say they reminded her of the importance of wearing a face covering when there was a legal requirement to do so. Ms Sturgeon has apologised and says she put a face mask on within seconds of realising her error. Detectives are appealing for information following the unexplained death of a 39-year-old man in Glasgow. Craig Watson was found injured in the city's Denison area just after midnight on Sunday but died at the scene. Police believe he had been assaulted and have asked for a group of youths seen in the area at the time to contact officers. The mother of a missing man from Edinburgh has made an emotional appeal for his safe return. Stuart Campbell disappeared nearly a month ago and his family say they are desperate for news. The 36-year-old was last seen in the Barn Park area of Wester Hales on the 22nd of March. Police say they are increasingly concerned for his welfare. If anyone has seen sure or knows where he is, can you please get in touch with me or the police? It's been nearly four weeks now and we just want you home safe and well, Stuart. Please, please get in touch. I continue to ask the local community to tell us if they have any information that might help this inquiry. And that includes checking your uh, gardens, checking your sheds, checking uh, your dash cam footage. Do you have CCTV? Do you have a doorbell with video footage? No bit of information is too small and it might actually be the key to this inquiry. An investigation has been launched after a group of Rangers fans allegedly sang sectarian and anti-Catholic chants on their way to yesterday's Scottish Cup semi-final. The group had been escorted to Hamden prior to their team's match against Celtic. Seven arrests were made at the game. Staff at Dundee University have walked out for a third time in a dispute over pensions. Up to 300 Unison members are involved in the action which centres on cuts to retirement benefits. The union says the proposed deal could see members up to 40% worse off. 
essentially our members will be working for longer, paying in more and getting less when they retire. When you factor that in to everything else that's going on in the minute, the cost of living increases, the cost of um, fuel, um, electricity and gas, it is completely unacceptable. And finally, while many people would have been rolling eggs down a hill, around 300 bikers made sure their Easter was more action-packed by hurtling down a snow-covered mountain. The McAvalanche event at the weekend saw the mountain bikers cycle nearly 1,000 metres down Anach Moor near Fort William. Well, let's hope there's no snow in Philip's weather forecast. A light drizzle is coming in from the west. Tui Blue Hotels, sponsor STV Weather. Hello there. Well, as we head through the rest of this evening and overnight, there are plenty of clear skies around for much of the mainland. Further north and west, though, there is more in the way of cloud. The winds will start to ease here. The low pressure is moving northwards, but we're seeing a band of showery outbreaks of rain spreading in, and that will continue to work its way south and eastwards. Temperature-wise, where we've got the clear skies, low enough for a touch of frost in places. Now, looking ahead to tomorrow, we'll continue to see that band of rain moving south and eastwards. It does break up through the course of the afternoon into more isolated showers with temperatures reaching highs of 13. Bye bye. Tui Blue Hotels, sponsor STV Weather. Enjoy the rest of the bank holiday. Good night. <laughs>